Hey, what's up everybody? This is Papa Bale. Welcome to the channel. I got my 8 series circuit coil done. So that's 8 different coils <laughs> hooked up in a series circuit in a 50 coil, uh, 50 turn spread. So it's like I took each wire and I connected it to the next wire. What I realized about the resistances is, is that the resistance of this whole coil is going to be more equal to the small and the thinner gauge than the less thinner gauge than the thicker gauge because there's, there's a bottleneck there and there's nothing you can really do about it. So I decided to get creative. I alternated the wires 26, 32, 26. And, uh, I mean, it works pretty good. It doesn't have great acceleration or anything. And the amps are still really high. <laughs> I don't understand that. I'm saying the resistances should be a little bit higher, but, I mean, yeah, it goes up to, like, 7 amps. And it doesn't have much speed to it. This is the one coil. I, I'm, I'm debating on how I'm going to hook What's the best way to hook that coil up uh, to this, to the rest of the circuit? And something isn't right. Something is definitely not right. Like something's not hooked up in the right spot or something. That was like 10 amps right there. I had it turned up to 10. Went 10 amps. Crazy. Just for that coil right there, that little coil right in front of you. Perfect. Man. <laughs> this is 5.1 volts. Steady acceleration right now. I think I might move the switch. No, I'm not exactly sure that's the best spot for it, but we will find out. But now, at least I have all those ends marked to the wire that it goes to on the opposite end. So that, that'll be easy to do if I want to do it again. Maybe even make it the main drive one. That'd be cool, I guess. Fluctuating amps, dude. That's it's probably because the wires are all bundled together in the coil, like down here at the ends. I'm just clamping at one clamp for all the wires instead of a clamp for each wire for obvious reasons. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 5 amps is about the max all my plastic here can handle. Start smelling enamel after a little bit. You know, something that kind of just melted. <laughs> yep, so I turned off the power. And, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, seemed like a good idea to start 
But as soon as I get it hooked up, I bet you it's going to slow everything down and it's going to, you know, it's just, it's going to take way more power to run it with the series circuit coil over there. So, and I mean, ultimately the resistance is only like five, five ohms for that whole coil. Awesome. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Bye now.